this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. And another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Today in this video, I am going to be joined by... <laughs> Lee Bear! <laughs> Where did you come from, Lee Bear? How long were you going to leave me singing like that until you suddenly showed your face? <laughs> I am, of course, being joined by Lee Bear, and I am also being joined someone else as well, but I don't know where they are, and I nearly turned blue. Uh, I am also somewhere being joined by Choo Choo, but I don't actually know where he is, so I'm sure at some point he's going to show up. Oh, here you are, Choo Choo. Don't worry about rushing or anything. It's not like I was singing for your arrival. <laughs> and now we get to see Choo Choo struggling to get through the door. It's not It's not a Choo Choo-sized door, that one, is it, Choo Choo? It's not, <laughs> it's not good for your head. Just don't stand up now. Do not stand up, otherwise you're going to get a nasty knock, and your head is going to go even bigger with a big bump on the end of it. Uh, I'm going to use the uh, the other door. I think we might be uh, a while on that one. <laughs> anyway, it is the uh, the morning. It's a brand new day, which means it is time for my cake, which I, of course, have for breakfast every single morning. <gasps> nom, nom. Nom, 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 There we go, and there we go. Choo Choo had a few slices as well. See, I do sometimes share. I do very occasionally share. Just uh, normally when it comes to cake, I like the whole thing. Anyway, uh, let's go and uh, begin the day then, shall we? I'm going to start off uh, by heading to my love garden, as I'm sure most of you uh, knew I was going to do, because that's what I do every single morning. I feel like I need to make the trip from my bedroom to the love garden more fun, more and exciting, because I just walk down this corridor every single day. I'm surprised that the, the floor hasn't started denting in with my paw prints because I've walked over this area so many times. <laughs> but it's always a, a good thing because uh, I'm always heading to my love garden, which is always uh, one of my favourite things to do. And today I am adding Elfish Pirate. And uh, that's because they have been sending me a whole load of comics, uh, comic strips. And uh, they're really cool. There's really good stories. Uh, they're always really funny and really well drawn as well. And I always love uh, when people send me creative things like this. I wanted to say uh, thank you very much for sending them to me and welcome to my love garden. And I also like your name, Elfish Pirate. I think that's how you're supposed to say it. Unless you say it all as one word, which is like Elfish Pirate. <laughs> Elfish Pirate. It, it kind of works. It kind of works. <laughs> anyway, today we're... Choo Choo, are you just purposely trying to go to areas where you can only just about fit in? Oh, it's actually a, a perfect fit for your, your head there. <laughs> it's actually actually not too, too bad there. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to be building a brand new thing today, and I'm going to be explaining what that is very shortly, but first I am going to decide which animals are going to be joining me in this video, and I do mean animals, not just dogs. Uh, that's because I am taking with me today Duncan and Mittens. It feels a little while since I uh, I took the, the famous show with me. And oh no, oh no, there's googlies. There's googlies in here. Right. This is going to be a bad day for the skeleton. Watch this. Watch what happens if I just go and tap the skeleton. All my dogs do nothing. Do not. Come on, dogs. You're supposed to be helping out. There we go. Now the dogs are jumping up and helping out. Not a good day to be a skeleton. Not a good day at all. Oh, look. It dropped a, a spare arrow as well. There we go. You can have that if you want, Lee Bear. A nice spare arrow. And all of my dogs sat down nicely again afterwards. So which one was Duncan? Duncan was the bravest of them all and charging forward. Uh, so his reward can be joining me uh, in this video. And of course, whenever I take Duncan, uh, I always take mittens with me as well. They always get upset when they're not together. And uh, what I could do is actually leave Duncan up here inside of the kitty cat condo. Now, I'm going to do that and I'm going to see if he uh, seems happier or sad. I don't know if he'll miss all of his doggy friends or whether he'll be happy spending time here. I don't even know if Mittens wants a, a dog running around here and getting uh, mud on the, the floor. She's uh, very house proud. <laughs> anyway, let's go and uh, dive off the balcony. Whoop! Careful not to uh, to land into the, uh, the, the walkway there. And uh, now I'm going to explain what we are building. We are building a recycling plant. And I bet you didn't expect I was going to say that, did you? <laughs> we are building a recycling plant. Basically, uh, after every video, or after every time I'm playing Minecraft, I have a whole load of rubbish in my inventory. I've got sand and dirt and cobblestone, and uh, as well as some useful things as well. And it's always really annoying going back through and trying to sort it. And so what I want to do is build a place which can sort all of my mess for me. And uh, we're going to be building it over here where you can see Choo Choo and Lee Bear. And uh, the way we're going to be sorting it is by building a really big robot. And uh, the robot is is going to be inside of a big factory which I'm going to
going to call my waste place uh, because we're recycling all of the, the general waste uh, that I get from my videos. And uh, it's going to be pretty big. It seems like quite a small area, but we're building pretty tall today. So uh, what we're going to be doing... And they're trying to make it look like quite a cool and futuristic looking factory. So uh, there's a few different colours we're going to be building out of. And uh, I've been shearing lots of sheep to, to get the wool. And uh, the main colour is going to be white. And then there's going to be some grey wool and some cyan as well. Uh, which is actually going to be the same colour uh, of the, the robot as well. So let's first uh, start off by building the, the walls then. So this uh, is going to be 15 blocks along. So if I go 1, 2, 3, 4... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This should go along to about here. This looks right. And then we now need to go uh, 20 long blocks along here. So I've got to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So as I said, this doesn't look like it's going to be a massive building, but we are going to be building big. We're going to be building up, up and up uh, as high as we can uh, until we can uh, uh, yeah, be able to, to fit everything that we want inside. And there's going to be lots of different things inside. As I said, there's going to be my big sorting robot. And it's all going to be done mechanically. So basically, you're going to be able to press some switches and pull some levers and set what you want to happen with the items. And then you're going to throw them into like a little tunnel. And then it's all going to get sorted for you. And so that way, uh, you're not going to be sorting through everything yourself. So this should look cool. Uh, but it's also going to be uh, very functional. And actually, rather than just building up all of these walls right straight away, I might as well start adding some details. Because it's not just going to be a big white box. I'm going to have lots of big windows on the front uh, so then that way when walking past uh, you can uh, look into the the area and uh, see what I'm doing so I guess the first thing I should do uh, is build in some doorways and the doorways are going to be here so where those two white blocks are there uh, is where the door's going to be and then there's going to be a frame around the outside which is going to be this dark grey wall so it's pretty much all going to be just these three colours and I think they're kind of futuristic looking colours I think when they go together uh, they do kind of remind me of some sort of uh, uh, futuristic robot so I think they, uh, they should look uh, quite good I think I did that a bit too uh, tall though. I think uh, doors are normally this height. So let's go and uh, break these away and uh, then we can go and start adding in our big windows. There's going to be a couple white blocks there and then this is going to be where our window frame is going to be. So uh, it's going to go all the way from here and then all the way along to the, the end here and uh, this is all going to be windows and then above uh, here as well uh, we're going to have even bigger windows. So almost uh, the entire front uh, is going to be windows that you can go and uh, look through uh, onto the, uh, the inside with. And there's something that I've not mentioned yet either about today Today is that we are not just building today, we are also destroying. At the end of the video, uh, we're going to have a, a bit of a bang and blow some things up. And I'm going to explain a little bit more about what that is and why we're doing it a little bit later on. But I just thought I'd mention it because it's uh, something to look forward to. And oh, I built this uh, too far along here. I only wanted uh, to build it along to here. And oh, I just realized I don't actually have any glass on me. But I did uh, leave a, a whole load of glass uh, smelting uh, before uh, I started the video. And also a whole load of uh, smooth stone, uh, which is what the, uh, the floor on the inside is going to be. And I do have some ender pearls so I should be able to hopefully uh, pretty quickly uh, go and get over to my crafting room and uh, let me see if I can grab it. Let's see if I can go a fancy way. Oh look at this! I landed on this uh, little SOS island right from here. Let's see where I can land. Let's try and land. Uh, let's try and throw one up and land over there kind of near the outside of my clubhouse if I can. Oh! I landed on my boat! <laughs> this is actually going pretty well so where shall I go to now? Now let's go and try and land up there if we can and uh, then uh, from here actually oh if I throw one more uh, uh, that might uh, hurt me a little bit too much. So for now, I'm just going to walk and then I can go and try and use some of the uh, the ender pearls uh, to get back at the uh, the end of the video as well. But yeah, I basically left some sand and uh, some uh, cobblestone smelting uh, before we started the video. So let me just go and uh, grab that uh, so I can get all of the, the glass that I need. So there we go. Uh, that one, oh, I actually ran out of um, coal on that one there. Uh, that doesn't matter. I should have some more somewhere else. So there we go. Here's some smooth stone here. And I think I got some more sand smelting over here somewhere. Yep, here we go. I can go and grab all of this. And look how many levels I'm getting. I've got 43 levels now. I need to go and do some enchanting. My, uh, my axe and uh, my shovel uh, are not actually enchanted yet. So I could go and enchant them. And I do think I've got some, some more smooth stone in here as well. Yep, there we go. I was able to, to grab a little bit more smooth stone as well and uh, we're going to need that uh, a little bit later on. So now I can go and head back and uh, we can carry on building the, the front. So uh, as I said, it's not going to be a big white box. Uh, there are quite a cool uh, futuristic looking robot-y details and then the big robot that we're building on the inside is going to be called Recycle Michael <laughs> and it's going to be a, a kind of cute looking robot and uh, then uh, you drop all the items in and then they get carried around on streams of water and then there's a little lever that you can switch 
switch uh, to set whether you want the items to be recycled or destroyed. And if you want them to be destroyed, uh, then they get put into a giant furnace and then they all get smelted away. And if you want them to be recycled, uh, then we use a, uh, a hopper which actually takes the item and uh, just stores them uh, away in a chest. And so then that way uh, you can go and gather up all of the items later on and uh, carry on reusing them. So here we go. I've got my glass now. I can start filling in this little window here. But now I'm going to hop upstairs and I'm going to begin building a much uh, bigger window, which is going to be uh, pretty much uh, the uh, the whole front uh, of this side over here is going to be one big window. So I'm going to have a couple more uh, rows of the uh, the white wall. And then I'm going to dig this away and I'm going to have this as uh, some grey wool and uh, I have this as a, a kind of another big window frame. Is this a window frame? I guess it is. I don't, I don't know if you call it a window frame when it's quite this big, but I guess it is technically a frame around the outside uh, of, a, of a window. So uh, this here. Uh, it's going to be grey wool the, the whole way along like this. And I'm actually also going to add in some uh, some cyan wool, just uh, in little bits around the place, just so the entire building isn't just white and grey. I do want a, a few little bits of colour as well. So I'm going to add in some uh, cyan wool there. I'm then going to go and build this grey wool all the way around the outside. And then we can go and begin building the, the really big window. And then uh, there's a few other patterns I'm going to be building on the, the walls around here. And then, of course, we need uh, to build the, uh, the roof as well, which is very important. So let me go and uh, add in some some more cyan wall here uh, just so the uh, the building symmetrical and the building is all going to be symmetrical uh, from the outside uh, but on the inside it's not actually going to be uh, completely symmetrical and uh, the reason for that is that that because uh, there's going to be lots of hidden redstone to get uh, all of my wiring working properly I'm going to have to put some redstone inside of the wall so there's going to be actually uh, some fake walls uh, on the inside uh, that are going to be used to cover up the redstone and then the rest of the redstone is going to be hidden underneath the floor and uh, I will be honest with you some of the redstone is a little bit complicated but it's all stuff that I can understand and I have full confidence uh, that if I can understand it then all of you <laughs> will be able to as well and to be honest most of it isn't actually redstone it's it's just trails of water. It's about uh, putting the items in a trail of water, you know, like a stream. And then if you throw an item in, it gets carried around. And uh, it's mainly to do with that uh, rather than using redstone. And there's uh, a few tricks uh, that I can uh, teach you uh, for good ways how you can move items up uh, rather than uh, just across as well, which I, I think is uh, is pretty cool. So I've nearly done this window here. I think I'll go, I think I'll go another one block up with this window uh, because I am getting, yep, I'm getting very close <laughs> to the, the ceiling now. So let me go and uh, fill all of this in here. Let me go and fill the bits that I missed around there as well and so I guess I'll do the window there and then the uh, the top of the frame here and then I'm going to go and start building uh, some of the uh, the patterns uh, around the uh, the side there as well and it's getting quite dark as well I don't know if anyone's got any beds on them or anywhere around here where we can sleep uh, because yeah we don't want any uh, googly showing up into the the recycling facility I don't know could we recycle googlies could you take a googly and recycle it and use it as something more useful uh, I'm not entirely <laughs> I'm not entirely sure if you uh, if you can anyway let's go into fill in these uh, last few blocks and there we go choo choo is making some beds for us so we can then uh, all go and have a, a nice nap uh, and then carry on in the morning so let me go and climb down here and uh, let me just go and fill in these last few blocks and then I can look at it from the outside and I can admire my handiwork and uh, see what it what it looks like so oh nope that's not right I did it all right until the very final block and I get it wrong so there we go this should hopefully uh, be completely symmetrical if I've done it right but it's always hard to build something uh, when you're really close to it you kind of need to uh, to step back so you can uh, properly uh, admire it so let's go and uh, see what it looks like oh that looks good I think that, do, that does kind of look like a uh, a modern futuristic factory, doesn't it? I think that looks pretty cool. Anyway, uh, should we all try and go to bed now? Uh, Lee Bear, uh, I don't know if you've got any ender pearls or a safe way of getting down, but uh, it'd be good if we can all have a, a bit of a nap now. I tell you what, i just catch you. i just catch you, Lee Bear. It's okay. You can trust me. I got you, Lee Bear. I got you. Just jump off. We'll, we'll catch you. There we go. A perfect, elegant landing. <laughs> or you could have used the uh, the ladder that Choo Choo built. Anyway, uh, let's all go to, to sleep quickly before too many more Googlies arrive, and then we can uh, carry on uh, doing some of the uh, the finishing touches and adding uh, a bit more detail to this factory uh, so it looks uh, really cool because uh, the outside of the factory is going to be in the uh, the same style as Michael. Recycle Michael, my robot, uh, which is going to be on the middle. Uh, he's going to be uh, made out of all of the, the same colours, like his eyes are going to be uh, made out of uh, cyan, uh, which will uh, look pretty cool. 
And uh, so what I'm going to do now is going to add some more details around here. And look, there's creepers, there's slimes, there's an enderman as well. Right, I want to get rid of that creeper as fast as I can. And luckily, uh, I mean, unluckily, my aim is awful. Look at that. How, how many shots did I fire until I was able to hit him there? That was absolutely shameful. I'm embarrassed of myself. <laughs> anyway, let's go and just start adding a, uh, a pattern around here. So I kind of want it to look uh, kind of cool and futuristic. I guess probably slightly alien looking uh, this pattern's going to be. And I'm not uh, entirely sure how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to go and start building around with uh, some of the the gray wall and just uh, see what it ends up looking like so first thing I'm gonna start building my scaffolding so I'm just gonna build uh, dirt along here uh, this isn't for anything this is just so I can walk around uh, so yeah that way uh, I'm gonna be able to, to build what I need to build so I want it to be symmetrical uh, so I'm gonna build the the same thing on the other side and I think I'm gonna start off uh, by just doing some some big long stripes uh, of gray wall uh, along the the side here I always think I don't know smooth shapes uh, are always gonna look good uh, for being futuristic and then I'm also gonna add the uh, the cyan uh, down here as well. So hopefully I've got uh, enough wool on me. Uh, I can just go and do my cyan down here. Uh, just the, uh, the same as it is on the other side. I don't know, actually I need to put uh, white back down on here. And then we're going to do one big stripe of grey wool uh, the entire way uh, along the, the side here. And uh, oh, do I have any more grey wool? I do. Uh, hopefully I'm going to have uh, enough to do this pattern. I guess it doesn't really matter too much what it looks like. And then I'm going to do a, another stripe uh, along the, the underneath down here as well. So let's go and uh, dig all of this away along here and uh, do another stripe then I'm just going to do some some little lines kind of going off along it uh, just to make it look quite cool and uh, futuristic because most of the uh, the things in my world to be honest are quite old fashioned a lot of the uh, the styles are quite old fashioned and why is it why is it why is it raining snow it's snowing from above where's where's that snow coming from oh you're right next to me <laughs> i thought you were above me do you have any uh, spare gray wool actually lee bear i'm running a i'm running a little bit low i probably just need i don't know maybe half a stack or so and then i should have uh, enough to to finish off this pattern and uh, then we can uh, hop upstairs and uh, try and get the the roof done also the the floor on the uh, the inside we need to do as well uh, we don't normally build quite this big so <laughs> it's kind of uh, difficult to try and get everything done so let me try and work out where the middle is I I think if I do uh, these two blocks here, uh, is that block there the middle? I think it might almost be. As I said though, it's always kind of hard to tell uh, when you're this close. So let me go and do this block here, like this, and then another little diagonal line like this. And is this block just constantly falling? It just looks like it's raining snow out from the other side of the building. Anyway, does that look like the middle? Uh, let's count along and check. So there's one, two, three, four on the side on that side. And then over here we have one, two, three, four. There we go. I was able to, to guess the, the exact middle. So uh, if I go, I need to go down a little bit lower now and I can kind of do the, the same pattern a little bit lower down and uh, see what that looks like as well. So I can get rid of this scaffolding. Oh no, I fell down. I fell down. Uh, it's okay though. I can just destroy it from down here and it's still just constantly raining <laughs> white wool from uh, from down there. The recycling plant is already recycling and throwing out all of the, the white wool again. And can I hear a slime? I can hear a slime. I always hate fighting slimes because I think they're probably the cutest out of all of the, the googly. So even though they are mean, uh, they can really hurt you. But once you break them into the, the smaller slimes, uh, then they all become friendly again. Now I look like I'm just a, a mama slime with all of the, the little slimes following me. <laughs> and they make like uh, quite a racket, uh, but they are pretty peaceful. So uh, we can we can let them be and they can carry on playing around. So let's go now and uh, go and... Um I uh, start doing the the pattern down here. So I'm going to do the the same as I did above. I mean, I'm going to also going to add uh, a few more lines underneath uh, just to make it a little bit different. And oh, I really failed placing that block in there, didn't I? Let me go and place that there, and then that one there, and then there as well. <laughs> I've just been constantly surrounded by slimes while I'm trying to build. <laughs> they don't hurt you or anything, but it is uh, just a uh, a little bit distracting when you're trying to concentrate on what you're building. You have all of these uh, these baby slimes around you, and I think that once I've done this, I am going to go and do the big explosion that I was talking about and I'm going to explain uh, what it is exactly that we're blowing up but before we do that I'm going to admire the the work that we got done today so there's the the front of the factory uh, currently surrounded by slimes and uh, then this is the the inside here uh, we obviously need uh, a lot more work to do in here uh, but we can do that uh, in the next episode you can see my wall pattern there and it looks like uh, Lee Bear and Chuchu copied me and uh, did the uh, the same on that side around here and uh, the back wall uh, we can do some some decorations on there as well and uh, make sure that looks pretty cool but now we are going to go and start blowing things up and the things that we're blowing up are actually over here. These buildings here have been here for a very long time and they are never ever used. Uh, these are basically houses uh, that were built by other people that came to my world uh, but because when everyone uh, comes to my world uh, they always end up just staying in my um in my guest room. Ooh. 
It's okay. It's okay. I can deal with them. Oh, don't kill the slimes. These are my little baby slimes. <laughs> yeah, because uh, whenever people stay, uh, they end up just staying in my house. Uh, a lot of these buildings are just completely empty and just never used. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow them up and then recycle uh, all of the uh, the materials that we get from them. And then I'm going to build uh, another row of shops and restaurants and things along here uh, with the uh, the lovely view uh, looking out across the, uh, the water. So in a way, it's a little bit sad because we're saying goodbye to things that have been here for a long time. But it's also an opportunity to build things new and recycle and make them into brand new things. So Libra and Choo Choo, what I want you to do is pick one building each. Pick one building each from round here and then start placing some TNT on it because <laughs> then we're going to blow it up and then flatten it and uh, yeah, then we can build some brand new things there uh, in the future. So while you're doing that, I think I'm going to go up to the uh, the top of the factory and get a, a good view uh, to go and uh, watch the uh, the fireworks. <laughs> so let me go and uh, I think I've got one ender pearl left. Yep, I do. Uh, let me see if I can get this right to land on the roof. Just throwing it slightly forward. That should be okay. Please land on the roof. Looking good, looking good, looking good. And perfect. Right in the, the middle of the roof. So it looks like uh, uh, Lee Bear's going to blow up that building down there. And uh, where has Chu? Choo Choo gone. Which one uh, is Choo Choo going for? I can't even see where he is. He might be uh, placing some TNT on the inside. Is he over over here somewhere? I'm sure he's going to be uh, setting up and getting ready for one to blow off. I guess I'll just watch and see which one goes. I can see him uh, down there somewhere. So I'm now going to do a countdown uh, from five to one. When I say one, I want you to let them blow and uh, yeah, we can say goodbye to, to some of these houses. So let them blow up in five, four, three, Two, one, let them blow up. So I think that's uh, I think that's Ang's house. Lee Bear's getting rid of. He seems having a, a bit of trouble setting them off because he's on half slabs. But this one should be about to go, and there it goes. <laughs> you can see that there's a, a lot of the uh, the roof remaining, but the inside is completely gone. And uh, how's Lee Bear doing? It uh, looks like he's finally working out how to, to set it off. Uh, if you place the uh, place the TNT block on top of the the torch, it should go. And there we go. It's about to go. Three, two, one, and. Boom! There we go. Goodbye, house. And now there's a, a big hole in the floor there. So uh, we're going to go and uh, get rid of all of the, the remains. We're going to put them all into a chest. And then once this uh, this factory is uh, complete, uh, we're going to go and recycle everything. So... In the, the next episode, uh, we're going to go and get rid of uh, another two buildings and uh, also continue building uh, the inside of my waste space. So that's the end of this episode here. I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!